Welcome back to part 2 of our What is Doctrine series. In this part, we are going to talk about some terminology and the difference between doctrine and concepts and how doctrine notes fit into the picture. The first term we need to understand is policy. Policy is directive guidance stating what is to be accomplished. Senior national and military leadership sets policy. Compliance is mandatory, not optional. Here are a couple of examples of policy. Policy governs the use of nuclear weapons. How they are used is about as directive and mandatory as it gets. Another example would be rules of engagement, established by senior leadership to ensure restrictions and permissions in an operational environment are complied with. Another term to know is strategy. Strategy is about applying available capabilities to gain desired ends using approved means within an existing environment. It has many considerations that affect decision-making, including objectives, the threat, people and organizations that must be worked with, and current capabilities. Here are some examples for strategy. Our first example. Building a campaign strategy that targets an enemy's abilities by using the minimum necessary forces and reducing collateral damage may be vital for operational effectiveness. Another example. Attacking an enemy's legitimacy to reduce its effectiveness may be the most useful means to degrade its capabilities. Finally, the last term to know. Doctrine. Doctrine is the agreed-upon best practices and principles. It focuses on organization and employment. Remember though, doctrine is not dogma. It can and must be adaptable and change with new lessons learned so we can continuously improve how we operate. So let's look at a couple of examples of doctrine. Our first example, using mission command to allow subordinate commanders to adapt and deal with a constantly changing operational environment, is how doctrine affects the way we succeed in our duties. Finally, if we apply doctrine to a given operational task, whether it's mobility operations, counter-air, or force protection, we stand the best chance of meeting the needs of the joint force. Okay, let's now take a quick look at doctrine and concepts. A concept is a notion or statement expressing how something might be done. It's designed to propose an alternative to existing doctrine. Because it's unproven, it's not authoritative and needs to be rigorously tested before being implemented as a best practice. Doctrine is based on extant capabilities for force employment. It's proven and provides the baseline for operating in a joint environment. So, what about this new thing called a doctrine note? How do they fit into the overall picture? The LeMay Center produces doctrine notes to start the discussion of emerging concepts in anticipation of them becoming best practices in the near future. Agile combat employment is being rigorously tested worldwide as a means to meet future threats. Since we know it's a worthwhile concept making fast progress, the LeMay Center recently published the doctrine note to capture what's being done in anticipation of the practices becoming validated doctrine very soon. This concludes part two, what is doctrine? Check out all our doctrine publications and doctrine notes on our website. Thank you for taking the time to learn a little about doctrine.